Hello, I've played a lot of old school RuneScape over the years, probably too much. And now, as an excuse to play even more RuneScape, I'm finally exploring what our beloved pixel game has turned into, RuneScape 3. Hello and welcome back. So we are out here in the desert. We are picking up right where we left off from the last video after doing some questing and some skilling. And we are going to attempt to do smoking kills this episode. All right. Th this cat has seen some things. Just look at it. Oh, 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 oh my God. Try wearing an earmuff and a face mask at the same time. Yeah, it is. That's easy. Oh, I know where those ruins are. That's uh, an OSRS. It's part of Desert Treasure 2. And there's that like swamp oasis things. Oh, sweet. I know exactly where that is. That is. Yeah, like right back here. Yep. You can even see. Yep. A ladder right there. Perfect. I'll head over there. All of that work in the dungeon just to be able to do this. Which they're not even like combined. I could have just worn these separately. Whatever, I'm not getting into the details, but now before I go and do the boss fight for this quest, I know it's relatively high level. I think it's like a level 92 boss and there's range and magic attacks and melee attacks. So I'm actually going to get some lobsters. So I have a full inventory of high level food just so I don't die because I want to do this in one try. So I will be back when I'm ready to do the boss fight. All right, we're down here now, so I know we just need to kill one of these. Get a voice, I think it is. Oh, through prayer, that hits a 400. And of course, a banshee attacked me right as I clicked on this, and somehow it kicked me out because I clicked on the door. So that's lovely. Okay, we are here, and I didn't fuck it up this time. Holy shit, 1500? It's gonna be tough, and then I know halfway... I'll need to switch over to range, which I did bring Holy Biscuits at heal and also give me prayer points. So hopefully I don't run out of prayer. But if I do, I have plenty of food. So hopefully I can kill this thing first try. Okay, here's here's where it gets a little crazy. But I should be good. Got plenty of food. Oh, oh, oh. That was close. I was not paying attention. I was just chilling. Oh! That was close again. Okay, I need to stop just chilling because I about got absolutely fucked. Yeah, they, they, damn dude, this one can stack damage quick. All right, and should only be one more hit. There we go. And I got 31 range. All right, let's get the hell out of here and turn in the quest and get our reward. That boss battle was pretty cool, though. I think that was just, like, a cool introduction to our three boss battles. Um, but yeah, I about got smacked. That was right about as hard as I thought it would be. All right, and there we go. Smoking kills completed. 5,000 Slayer XP. Increased Slayer points for completing task. Access to a new Slayer Master and Dungeon. Sweet, so I'm assuming that's her. And then access to the Desert Slayer Dungeon Mini Quest. And that gives me two Slayer levels. That pushes me up to 37. Awesome. So that quest was fun. I enjoyed it. And now I'm going to take some time and try to figure out what I want to do next. Decided to go and do a medium clue scroll that I got from doing Slayer in the last episode. Just completed the first step. For the second step, I know for a fact that usually the snails are from snails in Mauritania or like around the Canifus area. I have a hard love their body and I believe I have a silver sickle. So I will just need to go over to Canifus and find a red and black snail. Oh, I see one right over there. Okay, that was a lot easier than I expected to find. And I'm assuming... Okay. I'll pick up that fat snail, too. Alright, and then I can craft. Yep. Perfect. Now I just need to grab my stuff from the bank and head over to Catherby. And I just remembered right when I clicked on the furnace that... 
to create a silver sickle, you need to at least complete part of nature spirit. And that's confirmed right here. So going to go and complete nature spirit. I think I'm just going to go through the whole quest. All right, nature spirit completed. Well, I think I might have hit a roadblock because I do not have a ruby amulet. And if I'm correct, I believe they are 50 crafting. Yep, right here, 50 crafting. I'm at 39. That is not a reasonable grind that I'm going to do right now. So I think what I'm going to do is just go ahead and do my dailies and a couple other things that I want to get done since I wasn't logged in over the weekend and then decide what to do going forward. And just got 50 farming for my beehives. So this has been a really effective way of leveling up my farming. I mean, I feel like I've barely actually done anything other than planted Raynars and I've gotten them occasionally and I've gotten up to 50 farming. So this is really useful to get those farming levels. Now I just need to get my herb lore level to catch up, at least somewhat. Finally remembered what monthly activity I was missing when I did them last episode and that was the troll invasion. So went ahead and did that, did the 20 waves. So got the reward book now and I believe I'm going to use this on herb lore. So that gets me five levels, so that pushes me up to 22. Sweet. So since I've been doing a bit of necromancy combat, I just realized I have two talent points available. So I'll be able to get some new abilities in necromancy. But the issue is I don't have a lot of souls. I think this one requires... I thought it would tell me, but apparently not. Um... But I believe these require like 400 or something souls. Maybe it will tell me somewhere. I don't see where it tells me. Oh, right here. Yeah, so 400 vessel souls. So I am going to go ahead and use my broken and ancient, broken and fragile mementos and hopefully get the souls that I need to unlock at least one of these. And I also got some lesser insold cloth. Since I've hit 44 necromancy, I do want to upgrade my gear to tier 40, possibly tier 50, depending on what levels we get from this grind of souls. All right, so I was short on the souls by about 150. I didn't feel like doing them right this second to get the new ability. But on the bright side, I did go ahead and do the mini quest and upgraded my Death Warden gear to tier 40, including the Death Guard and the Skull Lantern. So with that, I think I'm actually going to continue on doing quests. I was having a good time doing the quest grind that I did last video. So I think this episode, I'm going to kind of go down through the list and get a bunch of the free to play quests done. So to start off with the free to play quests, I think I'm going to start off with Broken Home then move down the list with a few exceptions i'm probably gonna skip dragon slayer um gower quest i want to skip because i've heard that's a really enjoyable and funny quest so i want to dedicate a little bit more time to that quest and then i believe there's no other quests that i want to skip over at this moment that might change as i look on the wiki a little bit more but i'm gonna go ahead and get started with broken home wasn't expecting to get thrown into a, a horror video game in RuneScape, but here I am. Oh shit. I feel like I'm playing a more updated version of one of those point and click flash horror games that I used to play on mini clips. Damn, this is taking a long time. Yet I think it turned you into a monster too. It's her. Oh. Oh. Oh, that thing is ugly. Yeah, motherfucker, you're about to get the shit you deserve. Making me peek through all those doors. Fuck you. All right, and that is Broken Home completed. All of that for just a small XP lamp, which is going into Herb Lore. Got one level from it, and then an Asylum Doctor's Ring, which actually is the best ring I have. So, sweet. Time to continue down the list. Some of you may be happy to know 
also that I'm becoming less of a space bar warrior, especially with these fully voice acted and, you know, custom made music for the quest specifically. It has given me a reason to not just hold space bar down. I have been paying a little bit more attention to quest dialogue because I feel like that's really where a lot of RuneScape 3 content shines. And honestly, I really enjoy the voice acting and the dramatic music that goes with a lot of these quests. So just thought I'd jump in here since this quest is a fully voice acted quest. My brother and Sarah Doman, you just burnt the cabbages. Not gonna lie, this armor set, absolutely sick. This is a lot of rambling just for starting the quest like five minutes ago, but I love when they have components of quests like the suspicion bar, or like in the last quest they had um, in Broken Home, they had the ghost who you had to like peek through the doors and there was puzzles and there was the aspect of you getting chased by the monster at the end. I think aspects like that are really cool designs to bring into these quests to a make them more engaging, but also make them more enjoyable. It's not just like click on this, do this, kill this, talk to this. Like there is purpose behind what you're doing and there's different ways to go about the quests. There's different paths that you can go down, which I feel like makes questing in RS3 a lot more enjoyable. I do enjoy quests in OSRS, but I mean, this is on another level compared to old school. She was evil. All right, completed the quest. Really like the boss battle. The mechanics of it were really cool. And now really quickly, I think I'm going to go ahead and get 40 strength so I can loot this coffin and get the experience lamp. And that just pushed me up to 48 prayer. And that is death plateau completed. Goblin diplomacy completed. Don't mind me talking to this little guy. This is definitely not the poet that wrote you a poem and got you the gold ring. I promise you. We love to see a short king winning. Speaking of short kings, time for my shameless break in the video where I ask you to support a real life short king by liking the video and subscribing if you're enjoying my content. It helps me to stay motivated to continue making content when I know people are enjoying it, and it helps me feel better about my height. But as always, I greatly appreciate the support, and back to the video. Yeah, I'm never gonna come visit either one of you. And that is Gunner's Ground completed. It's a good thing that my playable character isn't noticeable or recognizable at all and that the NPCs in this game are actually stupider than my playable character. Huh. Well, look at you thinking you're all cool flipping that coin. <laughs> it actually makes you look stupid. Art Stealer completed. Really quick went to cap the resources at my clan Citadel and got 40 crafting. All right, just decided to finally go back and finish my Slayer task of Shades. So I think I'm going to go ahead and grab another Slayer task and get my Slayer up a little bit. Currently at 38, I'd like to get up to like 40 probably. And I enjoy Slayer, so I will be back with another Slayer task. And just finally got the Fremenic Lodestone unlocked. And now I'm going to the Slayer cave. I got 66 Cockatrice. So going to go into the Slayer Cave and kill those and I will be back after. And just got 40 magic down here doing my Slayer task. Of course, I got Ice Warriors. I absolutely hate this task because these things hit like a tank. I just realized I didn't have my prayer on this whole time. But yeah, 40 magic, 40 Slayer. And only four more kills left. Um... I don't know if the longbone is as rare as it is in OSRS, but that's my second crocodile kill. I will take that. That's kind of sweet. Just got up to 41 divination through the divination hourly. And on top of the level, I got a diviner's robe, which is the first set of the diviner's set that I've gotten. So that is plus 1% divination XP, which I will take. But hopefully through doing this, I can get the full set fairly quickly. Decided to take a break from Slayer and work on some crafting. Hopefully be able to get up to 50 so I can make a ruby amulet and complete that clue scroll I got earlier. 
I've been collecting seaweed and buckets of sand for a little bit whenever I've remembered. So hopefully I will have enough to get up to level 50. If not, I will probably just make some urns to get up to 50 as long as I'm not too far off of 50 crafting. So I'll be back when I have 50 crafting. Yeah, so now that I'm above level 40 and a good chunk of the skills, I've really started underestimating how much XP I need to get up to some of the skills. Um, it's still RuneScape, so there's still going to be grinds. But with the Molten Glass, I got up to 45 crafting. So what I'm going to do the next five levels is cutting gems. I will use the gems later anyways. Even if I don't, I can sell them for some money. But that is what I'm going to do all the way up to 50. I'm going to cut these, take them to the bank, or mine these, cut them, take them to the bank, and repeat until I'm level 50. So this will probably be a fairly long grind. But I haven't grinded RuneScape in a while, especially for simple things as this, since I usually play a main in old school. Um, so I can't lie, it's somewhat enjoyable to have these kind of longer grinds. I know I'll regret that in the future saying that but for now it's not the worst thing that i've done in runescape but yeah i will actually see you maybe when i have 50 crafting probably not and got 40 hunter from a flash event and that is 50 mining all right a lot of inventories of gems later here we are with about a little bit over 400 gems Using quick math, don't know if that's right, but I think it's about a little bit over 400. Hopefully this will get us up to 50 crafting. If it doesn't, I will probably just go mine more, but hopefully this gets me up to 50 crafting so I can finally do the clue scroll. 48, 49. All right, and that is 50 crafting. And I have still a lot of gems. I still have all my rubies. So I'm going to go ahead and cut all those and it'd be sweet if I got another crafting level. If not, got a bunch of gems. Just got 45 divination and the diviner's headwear. So that is two pieces of the diviner's outfit. And now time to finally finish this clue scroll. I'm pretty sure that was a two-stepper medium, but I will take it and let's see what we get. Addy Salvage, Phoenix Layer Teleport, and some runes. I will take it. 30 Law runes isn't bad. I'll take that. A lot of work went into that for a lackluster reward, but it was a medium clue scroll, so I don't know why I was expecting much. But with that out of the way, I have a dogs slayer task so i think i'm going to go kill jackals in the desert i think those count as dogs but about to figure out you know i just started thinking i have not seen a mage armor upgrade in a long time i'm still wearing the spider silk which is tier 20 but i have not seen a like craftable upgrade yet that's tier 30 or tier 40 I'm assuming tier 50 would be things like mystic armor, but I haven't seen anything in between 20 and 50. So I don't know if there just isn't anything in between that or if I'm just stupid and have missed out on it because I'm still rocking tier 20. But I think after the Slayer task, I'm going to check into that and see if I'm just missing something or if there's really legitimately not anything in between there. I mean, I'm assuming probably like split bark armor is still in there, but I'm 99% sure that requires me to do the shades of Morton minigame, and I'm not doing that. I'm just going to flat out say I'm not doing it. So hopefully I'm stupid and wrong, but if I'm not, yeah, not doing shades of Morton, I'll rock this until level 60 if I have to. I think the craziest change I've seen in RS3 so far is the fact that the witch's house is right here by this wall. It's here instead of up there in Taverly. A little bit wild for me to do this quest at a later level because in OSRS I usually do it at like level like 15 or 20. 
and I remember having to save spot the witch's experiments every single time, and now I can just tank it. It's a nice experience not getting absolutely clapped by these and having to worry about dying. And that is witch's house completed. I got 46 HP, and that pushes me up to 60 combat level. And with Witch's House out of the way, I think that it's going to be where I end the video today. As always, thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate the support, and I hope you all have a great rest of your day.